When you've chosen the photo that you want to frame for your assignment, here's how to put it on a 16 by 20 sheet. This is the photo I'm using as an example. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate it because it has all these layers and I'd rather not mess with my original picture and do anything that might hurt it. So by choosing image and duplicate, it just gives me a safety net. So there's my image. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to flatten it now. So layer and flatten image and all my layers are gone, but I still have my other file. Now I need to do my 16 by 20 blank sheet. So file and new, and I'm going to put in 16 by 20, but I've got to make sure I do it in inches and not pixels or nothing will work. So 20 inches wide in this case and 16 tall because this is a horizontal. It could also be 16 by 20 and 300 pixels per inch is a good place to start. RGB, make sure it's not CMYK, and a white background. Click OK, and there's a beautiful empty white sheet of paper. Now I come back to my flattened image, I get the Move tool, I hold the mouse down and drag up to this tab, my blank image, and drag down. Now I'm not letting go yet, not letting go, but I'm going to reach over and hold the Shift key down now, and then I'm going to let go of the mouse before I let go of the shift key. So let go of the mouse. That way it lands exactly in the middle and you don't have to do any math or measuring. It's a little big for me so I'm going to hit Command T which is the same as free transform. I get those little handles around the edge. Again we're going to hold down the magic keys in this case shift and option and that will scale it from the middle. So as I do it it doesn't change where it is on the paper. That look pretty good? Looks good to me. And return, so it stays. I like to move them up just a hair on the, on the page, so I'm using the up arrow key, tapping it up a little bit. The one thing I like to do to finish it off is to put a tiny border on it. So I'm making sure my foreground is black. I'm going to go to Edit and Stroke, and I'm going to guess three pixels. It's just kind of a guess. Three pixels, black, inside, I click OK, try to OK, and I get just a, a small little black line. This is particularly useful if you've got a photo with a lot of white in it. And that's it. All I have to do now is save it as a JPEG, save as, whoops, save as, and give it a name, save it as a JPEG because that's what the printing services want if you send it to Costco or anywhere else. JPEG, hit save. I like to save them at a quality of about nine works fine. And now it's on my desktop. I'm all done.